Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to see DHT22 sensor. It's currently 54% and 19.7 degree. I'm going to blow on it using my mouth. As we can see, the humidity is increasing to 80%. The temperature is more than 20 degrees Celsius. The wiring diagram is here. In this video, we do without the OLED display. B9 connected to data. G connected to ground. 3.3 volt connected to VCC. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the Q by DE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Q by DE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Click RCC. For the high speed clock, select Crystal Ceramic Resonator. Now we can click the Clock Configuration tab. And in this area, change, change this to 72. Enter. And click OK. When this one completes, we can click the Pinout and Configuration tab again. Yeah, it's completed. Now we can click. Click Timers. Click Team 1. For the Clock Source, Internal Clock. Configuration, Parameter Setting. Prescaler, we change this to 71. And for the pin PB9, we change this to GPIO output. That's all the setting. We can click save. While the code is being generated, I show you something. In the description below of this video, I have created a website. This one. I have provided the code here. The date, the pic diagram is here. And the data I see it is here. I opened it here. We can read through. And when we go below of this one, the picture is here. Q by D setting is here. We already done. And below is a code. In the user code begin zero, we copy from here until user code end zero. User code end zero is here. We copy until here. Copy it. In the same place. User code begin zero. That's here. We paste it. Go back here and user code begin two. We copy this one. And in the same place, user code begin two. It's here. We paste it. Finally, in the while loop, we copy from the if condition if DHT twenty two until HL delay 1000. Copy it. That's here. In this area, we paste it. Now we can click Save. What it does is, it calls the DHT start. And if it starts, it reads 5 times. First time, 8 bit is the humidity data of the first 8 bit, second 8 bit and the next two is first 8 bit of the Celsius, second 8 bit of the Celsius and the sum. When we add these four, if it is equal to sum, all good, everything went OK. So we can calculate the temperature. The temperature is in the TC1, if it is the very first bit, if it is 1, that's a negative temperature. It's below 0, minus 1, minus 2 degrees, something like that. So we convert it like this. We convert TC2 to by minus 1 and then divide by 10. Otherwise, we combine TC1 and TC2 together and divide by 10 for the temperature. Fahrenheit, we con convert like this. 
and for the humidity same thing we com combine these two and divide by 10 we get the humidity and we give small delay and do it again and again now we can click instead of cl uploading the code we can click the bug button to debug it click ok with the gdb server sometimes it doesn't work if it, if you get errors if it is a clone board you get errors so we can change it to open ocd and click show generate option go below reset mode is software system reset and then if you click ok and apply and ok there won't be any errors area the live expression with the reading glass on it we click it and we need to monitor these three values t celsius t fahrenheit rh we can copy and paste one by one one here other one paste it here and rh we can simply type it there and we make it smaller now we can see the value celsius and fahrenheit and humidity here so we click this run button now the temperature is 19 degrees celsius or 66 fahrenheit and the humidity is 58 uh, percent now for the uh, oled code when you go to the website here i have given code and the diagram in, in here and the video how to do the OLED connection is here so i show you the code here if you click this one the diagram picture and the setting and the library is here and the code is here with the OLED thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye